Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. It is a beautiful day here in Munich, Germany, and we realized that we've never really taken you around the main square or the downtown area at all. So we're gonna bring you guys with us. We got off the train at the Odeonsplatz station near the center of the city. From there, we walked into the Munich residence garden. The Munich residence was the place where the royals lived. Hey guys, so we're just walking through the Munich residence garden right now off of Odeonsplatz and it is absolutely beautiful out here. This residence is open to the public as a museum. Its gardens aren't very big, but they were very impressive. In Odeonsplatz sits the Feldherrnhalle. This was built in the 1840s as a monument to the Bavarian army. This monument also served in a darker story in history, being the site of the 1923 Beer Hall Putsch led by Adolf Hitler. In fact, Hitler turned this into a memorial during his reign for the Nazis killed during the Putsch. Citizens and soldiers alike were required to salute at this memorial. However, there were the brave few who chose to take a different path around the backside of the memorial so that they didn't have to give the Nazi salute. Today there is a gold path that marks their route, honoring these people. From the Feldherrnhalle, it's a quick walk into Marienplatz, the main center of the city. Here you can find the old town hall as well as the new Rathaus. Rathaus is the German word for city or town hall. One of the buildings that makes a great impression on the Munich skyline is the Frauenkirche. This huge cathedral towers over the city. The Frauenkirche is also a place of legend. According to this legend, the devil visited this cathedral when it was being built. Seeing that there were no windows, he wanted it as a shrine for himself, making a deal with the main architect. However, to his dismay, he found that the architect had put windows in, and he was so upset that the devil stamped his foot on the base of the cathedral, creating the devil's footprint today. After a little sightseeing, we decided to stop for a quick meal. Catherine decided to have the Spargel, or white asparagus, while I went with a German classic, the Schnitzel. While we were eating, we were inundated with the sound of bells for nearly 10 minutes. Something very common in Munich. It's a little loud. After our meal, we decided to walk through the main market, or the Viktualenmarkt. This market has been the center of the city for hundreds of years. And now there are several permanent stalls here where vendors sell their wares, including everything from flowers, to foods, to pastries, to handcrafted goods. We are in Victualenmart right now, and we decided to stop at this stand and try some warm honey wine. We always walk past this honey stand, and we've never stopped here, but they have honey wine. So they have honey everything, yeah. so we're excited to try it. Yeah. How is it? It's very good. It's yeah. warm. It's very warm, yeah. It's very warm, good. Here
here we decided to also pick up some of the white asparagus, which was in season and which Germans rave about. After our trip to the Vichuallenmarkt, it was getting kind of late. So we decided to get another quick drink and some ice cream and then head home. All right guys, so we have all of the ingredients here to make spargel. Um, we got the white asparagus from Victor Wallenmark the other day, uh, potatoes to serve alongside it, fresh dill, butter, lemon juice, just a little bit of sugar, not the whole pack obviously. And then I hope two people don't get mad that I am using a packet of hollandaise sauce rather than making it fresh. We don't have a blender and I just didn't feel like messing with that this time. So we're excited to try it out. Catherine was very excited to try cooking this, as you cook it a little bit differently than normal asparagus. All right, here's the finished product. We are excited and hungry. All right, we're going to try this. All right. It's good. It's really good. Yeah, even with the mix, the hollandaise mix. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm, I really like hollandaise sauce, so um, I'm glad that we got it and it's fine with the mix, you know. Should I try it with like meat? Do you put meat on it? I don't know. Okay. On another day, we decided to make our way to Schloss Nymphenburg, which is located in the Nymphenburg area of Munich, a couple kilometers to the west of the main part of town. Schloss Nymphenburg has been the hunting cabin and summer retreat for kings and queens of Bavaria for hundreds of years. The castle started out as a small hunting cabin, but eventually grew into a major palace. The lands around Schloss Nymphenburg are huge, and they take hours to completely walk through. Say hi. Hello. It's no surprise that these were once used by the royals as their hunting grounds. All throughout these grounds, you can find several different types of plants and animals, as well as fountains, rivers, and lakes. There's even a Greek replica of a Monoteros, similar to the one you'll find in the English Garden. There are also several guest houses throughout the property. It's really a treat to walk through these gardens. Access to the gardens themselves are free, but you'll have to pay a fee if you want to walk through the rest of Schloss Nymphenburg, which is now a museum dedicated to those Bavarian royals. Unfortunately, we can't show you all the amazing pictures we took inside Schloss Nymphenburg, but you can check out the Schloss website. The link is in the description down below. 
After spending a few hours at Schloss Nymphenburg, we decided we would stop to get a drink before heading back home. We hope you enjoyed this little walk around our new hometown, and we'll see you next time.